Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your Oracle Apex tutorial series. So far in this series, we talked about creating sample applications as well as a productivity app. We talked a little bit about how the pieces fit together. But now I wanna talk about how to create an application from a file, which might be useful for you guys if you're working with a spreadsheet or something like that. So what you're gonna do is click create. Oh my golly, Claire is back at it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an application and click from a file. Now here is where you can choose a file or you can click copy and paste if you wanna paste the data in there. Now, fortunately, we don't actually have to have any data prepared because there's some sample data we can use. So for example, click project and tasks. That's a hard word to say, tasks, and click next. So you can see the structure of the data. We have a project, a task name, start date, and so forth. So you can see the columns, and this automatically will parse the data to try to figure out the data types for the columns. Now what we can do is we can give this a table name, and we will call this tasks to condemn ourselves to forever trying to pronounce our table names. And we'll just leave that error table name blank, and it should fill it out for us, tasks underscore error. And there you go, created 73 rows, and now, we can either view the table or we can continue to create the application wizard. So when you click this continue, what it's going to do is it's going to create a new application and this is the new application page and what it's going to do is it's going to create a page for us that lists the tasks. Also on this page is this features section. These are things that are for the application as a whole and are not on a page by page basis. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to check all just to make sure we have all of those. Scrolling down, you can see some extra settings and junk. We're just gonna click Create Application. Oh, we should probably give it a name. <laughs> we'll just call it Tasks, Create Application. So later on, we'll go back and talk a little bit more about creating an application and all those different options on there. But for now, I just really wanna focus on creating an application from a file, and pretty much everything is already done for us, so we don't need to worry about too much. So you can see all of these pages were generated for us, lots of different stuff. A lot of these come from those different settings that we checked. So for example, we have a login page and so forth. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run the application. Now sign in with your Apex credentials. This will be the same account you created when you signed up for apex.oracle.com. And here's our application. Over here on the left, we have a menu with the tasks. We can click that and we can see all of our data. So this is really cool and right out of the box we can start working with our data. So for example, we could filter our data to specifically grab any of these with the status of open. So to do that, you can click on status in the column header and select open and there you go. So it's really easy to filter through the data just by clicking any of these column headers. So what we can do now is we can go into the actions and click chart so we can chart some of this data. I'm gonna go with a, a pie chart because I'm starving right now. We're in the label, we're going to select status. And then for the value, we're going to click cost. So basically what it's going to do is it's, we're going to group the, the statuses by open, closed, and then we're going to sum up all of the costs to see which ones cost the most. So what we can do is we can click sum and then we can click apply. So right now it only shows one color, and the reason that is is because the report is filtered. So we selected status being open earlier when we selected the column header. We can see all of the other statuses by unchecking this filter. And there you go. So you can see open consists of almost 50%. So that is the basics of interactive reports. Obviously we could go into a lot more detail, but my main goal here was just to show you that we can easily create an application from a file and start working with the data. So those are just some of the capabilities you can do with an interactive report. This is just out of the box default for when we create an application from a file, but the sky is the limit and it's ultimately up to how much customization you'd like to do and what capabilities you need. But following this video, you can see that you can easily import data and within a minute you can start tinkering with it, creating charts and all that good stuff. Now, if you wanna edit any of this stuff, just click edit page two. That's gonna bring you to the page designer. And you can see over here on the right, we are working with an interactive report, but there's all kinds of different stuff you can use. And we're going to get into some of that stuff in this series. So hopefully you guys are pumped. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Please be sure to check out the next video and don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.